We are moving to We don't know where we're moving to yet. There's a couple different places. I had, there's three different states we could move to, all very different, and I have some interviews coming up, and super nervous about and everything. Honestly, I just, I'm just in like chaotic, I don't know what's happening in my life mode. We're moving in the next month and so what I want to do is get all of our stuff organized and I have a lot of crafting stuff. So today I want to go through the crafting stuff and like get rid of what doesn't work. Like I have a bunch of markers that may not work anymore. Luna. Parker is currently getting groomed slash at doggy daycare, so he's not here right now. So whenever they call that he's ready to get picked up, I'll get him. Oh my God, Luna is just so crazy. It is crunch time. We have one week. Actually, we have less than a week. We have four days to pack, find a rental, get a U-Haul, and get out of Texas. One, our lease is up. And two, I got a new job. And we have to move. So, I figured day one, I'm just going to start packing stuff in the house. A lot of the boxes for the stuff in the house are in the garage. But I want to clean out all the kitchen stuff and like clean out the coffee maker and let everything dry and sit. So I have my setup over here um, to let all my appliances sit that I need to wash and pull everything out that's mine. Again, not a lot of this stuff is ours. Most of it was already in this rental because it was a furnished rental. But our next rental is not going to be furnished. So we got to take everything that we possibly can that's ours. Um, like in storage, I have all my dishes and all, a lot of my kitchen stuff. So we'll have to go get that from our storage. And yeah, just figuring it all out. Today, my goal, clean out all the appliances and leave them out to sit so that in the morning or tomorrow I can pack them up and my closet to go through my clothes and get a donation bag going and then start packing up my clothes into my suitcases. I think those are the two main things I wanna do today. And if I get that done, I'll feel good. And it's 1.30, I just drove in from San Antonio. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I kinda of wanna make coffee, but I'm about to clean the coffee maker, so let's start cleaning. Okay, so I took out the coffee maker. I took it apart and I cleaned everything so everything's drying. Soak in the Instapot. This thing is gross. I need to see if I can order just like a new thing. And it's just, I think it'd be easier. I use this so much to have a second one. And I cleaned the outside of the Instapot nice and shiny.
job doing helping me clean. You know, the people on these reality TV shows, they're like, um, you know, they'll say their job and they're like assistant manager or like working in tech and data software and nurse, doctor, pharmacist, I don't know, teacher, um, construction and all this thing. This season, there's a guy on Love is Blind who's just like, I'm an environmental scientist, and apparently he did research on sharks. How are you doing this? I'm so curious, like, what he does for work, like, what he actually does, because environmental scientist, that's broad. That's so broad. I could technically be an environmental scientist, but I don't ever say that title. I always say I'm a biologist, but, like, the new job I'm getting, I'll be an assistant wetland scientist, so... It just kind of depends. It's so broad, yeah. There's so many fields within the field that, just cause yeah, I feel like there's never people on these shows that I'm like, oh yeah, like I had, or like a field biologist. Why is that? I guess my people, people in my field, I guess don't need to go on reality TV shows to find someone. I have no idea. I just made that up. Maybe we don't have the personality for it. I mean, I have a man, so it's fine. I don't think I have, I would have a good personality for reality TV. Okay, episode one, season four, Tiffany straight up fell asleep while on a date right before her man's, or whoever, I don't even know this dude's name, right before he was like, you know, I really think you're the one, like, I think he's trying to like, you know, propose, well, they don't, they do like official proposal on a different day, but like trying to tell her that like. I will propose to you on proposal day. Girlfriend fell asleep. <laughs> oh man, that's so funny. So yeah, so I think it's sweet. Like he was freaking out because he's just like, this is it. This is the final straw in, in the show. Are you pro falling asleep on a date? <laughs> or is that like a red flag? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, I just finished episode three of Love is Blind, and oh my god, dude, Irina and Zach, that is freaking hilarious. Like, it's weird because I didn't really notice it whenever they were, like, in the pods having conversations with each other, but whenever they met and did the reveal, um, yeah, okay, spoilers ahead. I'll put a spoiler alert at the beginning, but Irina and Zach, it was really freaking awkward. So yeah, honestly, that was like the funniest thing. And I love how she told him like, can you blink? <laughs> like, oh, but at the end when he was just like, I think we're in for a wild ride. And she was just like, yeah, or wild adventure. And she was just like, yeah. And I'm like, ooh, I don't know if she likes you. I don't know if they're going to make it. But he just seems very sweet and honest and... But yeah, now let's see how they do in Mexico. I don't have a favorite couple yet. I'm intrigued by um, environmental scientist dude only because I'm like, oh yeah, this vlog is just turning into me, me opinions. <laughs> My opinions on Love is Blind season four. Again, you're, we're not trying to put emphasis on looks, right? But then they make a big deal about the reveal that like, oh my god, I hope he doesn't think I'm ugly. Well, it doesn't matter if he thinks you're ugly because you love him, right? It's just so funny because I feel like they must ask questions during the interview process or like maybe throughout the show, I'm sure producers have a say in like what the people talk about and like how they create the storylines and everything. But man, do they all just talk about like their appearance and their looks and it's just like aren't you kind of defeating the purpose of the whole show is that like so this is um what is this girl chelsea who is this chelsea and kwame no, kwame and they're you know they're in mexico now and they're talking about it and she's just like did you think i was gonna be ugly oh my god i'm not an ugly girl and it's just like girl i don't know and he's just like do I look like what you thought I'd look like? And I feel like they're trying to get each other to say something. And I'm like, isn't this the whole point of the show? 
Okay, welcome to the closet. So, I need to start packing up um, the majority of stuff that I have. Again, I, I, I don't have that many clothes. All of this is my, um, what's going to go in my big suitcase. Which you guys can see like that. That's basically all of like my nice clothes. It's all <laughs> nice. It's a bunch of flannels and tank tops. Um, and then down here are like, this is all workout sports bras. And then this is like underwear, bras, socks. So that's mostly all I have. So that's not a lot, except I have this giant tub of t-shirts. So I think I'm going to go through this and see what I can donate. Cause I definitely never reached the bottom of this tub. Um, I never reached the bottom of this tub, so I don't wear any of these shirts. So I need to kind of make a decision. Like if it's something I want to keep, I just don't wear anymore. That needs to go to storage. So yeah, just need to figure some of this stuff out. So that's what I'm going to go through right now. Text me twice with the invitation. You're out there waiting with your hazard lights coming by surprise. So you meant what you okay, I'm trying to figure out if I can fit these dresses. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dresses that I have. Those ten dresses and this like 30 pieces of shirts. If I can fit that into here. I think I can. this in Austin and Montana and Houston and now we're gonna move to the next one but after this we won't be moving for a while Parker we're moving and we won't be moving for a while okay we're gonna slow down on our moving we're moving we gotta pack up I know I'm gonna pack up your stuff last you and Luna stuff, because I was cleaning today, like I put the Roomba out, and man, I swept under the couch, there's so many cat toys. I don't know, you play with her toys too, and he like plays with her little chicken toy. It's so funny, because it's this small, right? Like the little mouse toys. Um, And he'll like fetch it, it's so funny. Okay, it's the next day. Got a put everything in their boxes. I packed up my espresso maker. I gotta put the Instapot in here. And then gotta pack to get 
this is our kitchen box and I need to get our second kitchen box because I have some extra things that need to go inside. Mm -hmm. 